what is going on guys brown here welcome back to the channel where today we are continuing on with the my team career mode we're here in belgium for part 14 so let's get into it shall we so coming into belgium obviously we had if you missed the last episode make sure to go and watch that as well but obviously coming off the back of that race it wasn't great in hungary we managed to go P6 in our first run, which would turn out to be our only run. I thought we had enough to get through into QT, but we didn't. Very kind of embarrassing my, on my part. So let's get into the We're race. in Belgium once again for today's round of the Formula One World Championship. It's a race the great Ayrton Senna won six times. And in 2019, Charles Leclerc became the first driver to take their maiden win here since Michael Schumacher in 1992. So here we are once again, ready to go racing through the Ardennes Forest. 4.35 miles of long straights, fast corners, and massive elevation changes. It makes this not only one of the most exciting circuits on the calendar, but one that makes for some consistently high quality racing as well. Simply put it, there really is no place quite like Spa. Joining us today to oversee all the thrills and spills, it's Anthony Davidson. And great to see you. How are you feeling about the race today? And how are the circuit conditions from what you've seen? Well, it's looking a bit cold out there, if I'm honest. These tyres have quite a narrow operating window in terms of the temperatures they need to extract the best grip. So with a cold track surface, it's going to be harder to keep those temperatures up, which will lead to lower grip and maybe more mistakes. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Vettel, Alexander Albon, and Ricardo, Perez, Sainz, Stroll, and Lando Norris, Ocon, Verstappen, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Gasly, Raikkonen, Kvyat, Brown, and Roman Grosjean. Magnussen, Latifi, Russell, and Callum Island. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? So the strategy is going to be a one-stop. We're going to need a good start from 17th to try and do anything today. But if you do enjoy these videos, make sure to like and subscribe. And now let's get into the race, shall we? It's the five red lights come on. It's another Mercedes 1-2. It's lights out and away we go in Belgium. We're like going pulling over to the right hand side of the track. Left hand side, right hand side from what we're looking at it. And we're gonna go down the inside into turn one. Gain a lot of positions there. The side by side with a racing point. I think there's Lance Stroll and a Red Bull as well as as the Red Bull is Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez going side by side through our reach. We backed out of that because no way am I doing that. And now we're kind of tucked in there slipstream. We've got the Renault Daniel Ricciardo behind us of Espan Ocon rather, trying to get past us as it's all kicking off. You can see that the McLaren and the Renault side by side. I don't know where we've got the pace, but here comes Lando Norris down the inside for E Puan. He tried to defend to the outside. That is an excellent move by our British counterpart. And now the Renault is all over the back of us here on that one. Going on to lap two. And here comes the Renault of Esteban Ocon. He's on our inside. He's gonna go down our inside. We tried to defend to the outside. We do a little bit, but we're still side by side. He's there on the outside, and he's going to go around the outside. We try to force him wide, and we do just. We keep that position for now. And no, side by side, down the inside goes Pierre Gasly. This time, it's clean between us two, unlike Hungary last time out. As we go through the no name corner, it is nine and up towards Puan, and we've had a poor exit. And Kimi Raikkonen, the most experienced man in a Grand Prix, that he announced his retirement. He's getting us, and now his teammate Antonio Giovinazzi is all going wrong. And Daniel Kavia, we outbreak and go straight down the middle of both of them. 
somehow keep the position and now coming out of the corner into that long right hander and we go wide we outbreak ourselves and now I think there was a bit of contact and we're wide we're off the track we go over the grass we're going over the curb we've lost out to Giovinazzi we may lose some more this is a replay of what happened we made uh, the smallest amount of contract contact and we lose the position and now Kit is all kicking off behind us you can see Callum Eilert our teammate in that fight and Esteban Ocon and Pierre Gasly, no, um, Kvyat, I don't know why it took me that long to realise that, they're side by side now, through and up towards Blanchimon, we have got the slimmest of margins, we've managed to pull away which is good and everyone's pretty much side by side here, Callum Eilert's gaining a place on the Haas, the runner has defended the Alpha Tauri and now there goes Callum Eilert down the inside we've gone into the pits at this point we were pitting this lap anyway but Grosjean defends Eilert and now into the pits we come we're going to be going on to the highs pretty straightforward the strategy a bit boring races like this are always pretty boring in terms of the one stop not the actual action happening now into the pits and they're changing their front wing which I would be annoyed at but entering the pits we outbreak ourselves and completely just drove into the barrier so I knew I was going to have damage there and I think we picked up a bit further um, earlier on in the race as well so we're going to skip on very deep into this race all the way to lap 9 and we've caught up to the back of George Russell, George Russell came out of the pits and not be pitted very early because I just couldn't deal with the front wing. Um, so everyone was still going out, we were gaining a little bit of time before everyone pitted. George Russell pitted and now we are on the back of him through the best corner on the calendar, through a route and over the top at Radion. And now we can start to close the gap and we're already past George Russell. to get past George Russell then into the chicane but we've gone wide and that's not the ideal along uh, ideal line through there and now skipping on all the way to lap 17 because not a lot really happened we didn't really have the pace but we're on the back of Callum Whitelock now I've kind of found my groove with these tyres and in what 14 rounds we haven't really had a battle with our teammate but here looks like we're gonna have one lap 20 of 22 we were just kind of sitting by our mind I look for lap after lap we couldn't catch him but this time we pull to the outside and we get past our teammate and now into the chicane and we have some good pace here it's Roman Grosjean just at the it's Kevin Magnussen no it is Grosjean sorry just up the road from us, this is on the very final lap we were catching, can we do enough to get P17 in this race, we've got you can see rich overtake mode onto the max and we're going to go to the outside, going into the bus stop chicane, we're going to go round the outside, Grosjean's going to force us wide and now into the final corner, final corner, we go up to the line and we are going to finish in P17 which is not good for all terms of purpose for that race. It was decent. What a great race then, and what a magnificent victory here at the Belgium Grand Prix. Tell me, Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs. And that's allowed them to get the best out of the car, to maximise the strategy and to stay out of trouble. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today.
so it's another win for Valtteri Bottas in a uh, championship that looks to go looks to be going very much his way. Hamilton fairly far behind now. Esteban Ocon retired, but what a nail-biting ending! You can see that the gap is at 84 points between the two Mercedes. So Hamilton really kind of got to find a groove, got to find his rhythm to get any chance of getting back in the championship. We have a race winner points like we did the last couple of rounds. And back into the paddock now. And we are going to be doing an upgrade on the chassis side, a major one. So that will come in in a couple of rounds time. And we're also going to make an upgrade on the HQ in the marketing department. To hopefully improve some stuff there but if you have enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe it was another bit of a slow burner but it was dramatic in the end hope you enjoyed and goodbye